This is David Bowen talking to Mary Miles on the occasion uh, after her hundredth birthday on the twenty sixth of June, twenty twenty one. Twenty seventh of June. Twenty seventh of June. I correct myself. And I'm Mary Davis. Mary Davis. She's known in the village still by her maiden name as Mary Miles, but she's Mary Davis now. No. Where were you born, Mary? In Baldwin Street in Brin. You were born in the Brin. Well, well, well. Uh, where was you? Who who were your parents? My father was from Eberwell. Right. And my mother was from a Strindlis. Right, right. And they, the parents, my father's father then was moved to this area, you yeah. probably manage it. Right. And my grandfather was something to do with, my grandfather Rankin was something to do with the colony, and they moved to Petalbert. My grandfather was in Eagles, and my grandmother was in Eagles Street, right. and my father and mother moved to Canal Street. Oh, right. And eventually came to Brin. Came to Brin. And they lived in Baldwin Street. In Baldwin Street. My parents met in Sunday school in Chapel in Petalbert. Or Chapel in Petalbert then? I have no idea. It's gone. Right. Doesn't matter, doesn't matter. Can you name them? Oh. No, you don't think that. No, no. Oh. Right. Um, I'm alright. some questions now. How big was your family? Did you have brothers and sisters? I had a brother. Yes. Um, older than me and then I had my sister older than me. Right, so you were three yes. children and you were the youngest of yes. the three. Right. Yes. And... Your father was a, co a collier in Bryn? No, my father was um, eventually he was on way Bryn, the way Bryn right. in, ended up in the office in Bryn. Oh, right, right. So, my uh, mother and from Mr. and Nursey and that. Yeah, right. yeah. What do you remember? What were your earliest memories of Bryn? Well, I suppose, went down the croft yeah. with my parents, and, yeah. and then when I was older, I can remember my mother buying me an old pair of daps, yes. yeah. yeah. me to play in the water amongst the stores around and my the river. and sister. Yeah. Yeah. My mother and father used to say, I think the three, of three of us changed the course of that river, because <laughs> <laughs> we were always playing in the stores. Yeah, 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 yeah. You were playing in the fruit west then? In on the fruit west, yes. Yeah, yes. yeah. Just a limp going down there. Yeah. Used to go down there for picnics. Onto the Grofter now? On the Grofter. Yeah. Yes. Of course, I don't know whether they're there now. There used to be tables. Yeah, the, when I moved to Bryn, and I was nearly over 30 years ago, they were there. Yeah. But they built houses there now, weren't they? That's right, yes. There are houses well, there now. They only passed in the car going yeah. around. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's where you go to play and have picnics and whatever. Absolutely. So you very rarely left the Bryn then, really? Oh, no. Gosh, it was a treat to go to Aberhaven Beach then. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> oh, uh, we waited for that for weeks to go one day. Yeah, one day. To Aberhaven Beach. Yeah. i tell you another place we used to play as children. I don't know whether they call it that now. At Jack, Bill and Tom. Yes, yeah. Where we used to love going up the top of their picnic yeah. uh. and then sliding down. Down. The uh, yeah, yeah. Funny enough, uh, Bryn uh, Jenkins was telling me ah, right. that it was called Jack, Bill and Tom because there was a woman who lived in the cottages there, had three boys, yeah. Jack, Bill and Tom, and they were always up there playing, so she'd call them about down for tea or whatever, Jack, Bill and, and Tom, Tom, so it stuck there, stuck. Don't know, does anything else? Yeah, yeah. It was a lovely, no, my grand children were Rogers, yeah. sons and that. That way, she, where do you want? Where would you like to go today? Is to come and stay with me at Chapel and Tom. Uh, 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 still there. Uh, and where were they? Were they were living in Swansea? Were they? Pontedawe. Uh, Pontedawe. Yeah. Uh, 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 very similar to Bryn. Yeah. yeah. 
So your father were, worked in the Weybridge and then he went into the offices. Yes, that's where he was. Yeah. Yeah. Um, you were a chapel organist. Yeah. Where did the love of mus music come from then? Oh, right. No, I just... I don't know, my father bought a piano right. from Swansea and for £12 right. second hand yeah, yeah. and I was always tinkering I can remember my mother saying right we'll get someone to a teacher you know yeah. but he, so my music teacher used to come to Bryn yeah. and I was there and he used to teach me you know yeah, so yeah. that's where I piano I was yeah. taught you had piano lessons then piano lessons yes yeah. And uh, somebody suggested them, they, they didn't have an organist in the Welsh Baptist yeah, Chapel. Yeah, that's oh, Jerusalem, though. Yeah, yeah. And they asked me if I'd play. Yeah. Well, I said, I'd like to try the organ first. I said, yeah. I've never played an organ, but yeah. all piano. So I went over and it, they gave me the keys out over on my own yeah. and went yeah. to practice the organ. And I got the hang of it all yeah. and I enjoyed playing it. But all of a sudden, I can remember where I was sitting there and I thought, oh, there's somebody watching me from the gallery. Uh, yeah. I my music up and oh. <laughs> <laughs> But um, yeah. I did the organ for the years. Uh, well, actually, until I was going to have um, David as the end. Yeah, David, yeah. And I had two sons. Yeah. 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 So uh, I didn't play after, you know. Yeah. But I... I I've got some old booklets of Commander Ganys that they that yeah. they held here in Bryn. And you were down on those as the organist. Nearly miles. Nearly miles. Yes. Do you remember those uh, Commander Ganys? Oh, good grief, yes. New outfit for us. <laughs> and a new hat. Special and a new hat. Yes. Yeah. Yes, just to play with the big man. See, the... Three chapels would get together. Yeah, yeah. And um, we knew our chapel Baptist yeah. and year and the next year passage would be in the Benway. Yeah, yeah. And then in the Baptist yeah, yeah. That's how it was to be. Yeah. Were, were there practices oh, oh, before yeah. the actual Gamanwa? Yes, yes, yes. Rehearsals. I don't know why my husband ever stuck to me because he was always waiting outside. <laughs> on a Sunday night? No, and, and we had um, we had a number on the Saturday night. Yes, yeah, uh, yeah. Or, um, you know, what we used to call the uh, big Yes, yeah, yeah. Come on, yeah, yeah, yeah. Cool them out. Cool them out. And then uh, he was waiting for me. Although he was a member of the Baptist. Yeah. He wouldn't come to anything with singing and that because yeah. it was an interest yeah, so we'd yeah. be waiting outside of the cold. Yeah, yeah. To yeah, right. And I can always remember <clears throat> my first, what they call, date with him. Yeah. We went up the penny up the mountain, the yeah. old penny that's all there, and I had a new blue coat on. Yeah. For Easter, and we'd be playing in the organism yeah. and we yeah. went up there for a walk. And he was coming down the mountain, we grew up with my father, uh, and he was trying to hold his coat and he had to stop and up and have a seat with the blue. Wearing your best coat, coat in. Bob <laughs> Chappers. Yeah, 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 yeah. But, um, oh, when you think back. Yeah. Silly little things, isn't it? No, but it was important then. Oh, in those days, yeah. Yeah, yeah. And I mean, I was young, and I, you know, I was only 14 when uh, I started playing the uh, organ. And I couldn't have been very old when we had that this new blue coat. Uh, 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 my father uh, threw them out. And my father, see, you, I mean, I was the youngest. Yeah. I would never go out to the college and go out my father. Uh, and he was a, a, a chapel goer religiously? My father? Yeah. No, well, I tell you what, my father was half the other. Right. And when they were in Ebbervale, um, they used to go to the Baptist chapel up there. Yeah. And um, one of my grandfathers, then yeah. a great grandfather, really, was a Baptist minister. Yeah. See? Yeah. So uh, that was the connection. Oh, right, right. right. Was your father well speaking? No, he wasn't well speaking, but. 
my mother was trying to teach you well. Yeah. That's why eventually my father used to go, you know, with the vicarage house. Yes, yeah. And there was a, a vicar there, Mr. Ishmael. Yeah. And very friendly with my father's family. Yeah. Like, see, so my father said he'd love to, so I'll give you lessons, he said. So my father used to go to him for lessons. Right. Welsh lessons, yeah. Right, right, so right. Him very good, you know. Right? Yeah. Very well, well. In the 1930s, you had a special visitor to the family. He came here, according to you, to Lilo. Aren't you like his brother, T.J. Williams? Yes. Yeah. 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 David John Williams is in this Welsh Encyclopedia. Never. And it says here, a square mile consisted of San Sawel and Reed the Cymerai in San Abadar. Yeah. yeah. He wrote many, he wrote a few books of his life story. And he worked on farms and in, on a coal miner. And then he, he gained degrees from the University of Wales and from Oxford. Never. Yeah. And he spent the rest of his life teaching English in Fishguard Grammar School. That's right. Yes. In I, Fishguard that's Grammar School. I remember him in Fishguard. Fishguard yeah. yeah. I remember him coming over to Auntie Peggy's. Sister, then, yeah. You know the two houses. The villas, is it? Villas. Yeah. That's right. Well, uh, I remember being over there when he was there, yeah. and him putting hours on your little one, yeah. on his knee. Uh, uh, right. Well, this is what he did. Penabeth Bombing School. The, um, Aviation Authority in Great Britain, it became the RAF, wanted a bombing school to so pilots could learn how to bomb. They tried a few places in England, but they were rejected. And they came into Wales without any permission or whatever, they established this bombing school on the Sheen Peninsula in North Wales, not far from Pootelly. And there were a few people who were up in arms about it. They, so th a gang of them got together. Three of them, DJ Williams, Saunders Lewis and Lewis Valentine, went into the site in, at night and set fire to some of the buildings. And they went down to Port Henry Police Station straight away after and said, we did it. We did it to protest that they just built it in a very Welsh-speaking religious areas, and we are pacifists. They were arrested. They were sent to Carnarvon Assizes, tried there. The jury couldn't decide if they were guilty or not. They were all Welsh, weren't they? Of course. Of course. The government of the day decided they had to be tried at the Old Bailey, and the jury there found them guilty and sentenced them to nine months' imprisonment in Wormwood Scrubs. So imagine now, this boy from Rita Camera ended up in Wormwood Let Scrubs. I tell you now, when I was in the family then, yeah. to spring on our medics, yeah. Yeah. that's in front of the children, I yeah, yeah. But I knew, I know, I, I didn't really know all the details, yeah. but I had the gist of it then, yeah, you yeah. know, see. Yes, yeah, Auntie Peggy's brother yeah. was in jail. Well, when they came out, they held a huge rally in Carnarvon. 10,000 people attended it. They had, a big fuss was made of the three of them. But DJ, somebody, somebody's come in. Hello, come in. I found the kids and I've got some water here because the water's broken up. Oh, thank you. Well, come All in. Right. Will you come in, please? Okay, I need to get out of here. Okay. Thank you, Val. All right, thanks. <laughs> Kind people. Oh, well, they, they smashed the pipe, I've seen Goitra. Yeah. But anyway, DJ was a very shy man. 
and he didn't like all the fuss. So he came up here to hide from it, didn't he? Yeah? Nobody knew him in Bryn. No. Yeah? No. There he is there, look. That's him. That's him. I got a photo of him with Auntie Peggy and sister. Yeah. Yeah. When I go, well, there was a lot of whispering. Oh, yeah. yeah. Events, well, see. it's because of that. <laughs> oh. <laughs> My sister gave me this years ago. Oh, it's a good one. It's a lovely one. It's all about Wales and Welshness yeah. and whatever. Right. So the Gaman Vagani. We've covered the, the, the man who came to lie low in Bryn. Yes. What about wartime Bryn? What was Bryn what like during the war? Well, we used to see a lot of our cock around because yeah. we had gun sites up in here yeah. and down by Kilgobert. Right, you know, yeah. And when there was a raid on, you yeah. the guns going. Um, I had to go to Bridgend to the munition factory. To the arsenal in Bridgend? Arsenal. You either have to go there, yeah. or the way to the forces. Right. I was a big baby when I wanted to go away from home, uh, uh, so I had to go to the arsenal. Uh, and the first section they put me was um, HC uh, explosive fuses, yeah, yeah. and I was coming home and my hands and my face were going yellow. Uh, uh, so my father wrote to the head of the arsenal, or my yeah. was, he wrote to the lovely letter to the head of it to say that I was nervous when I was working and I was afraid I'd drop the fuses and all this business. Yeah. And he moved me to a cordite site. Right. That was better. Yeah. It was a very strong smell of cordite. Yeah. I got used to it. Yeah. Yeah. So that was my war experience. Well, how did you get down to the arsenal then? First from the village. This was full. A lot of people from this village. Worked in the arsenal. You either had to go there or go away to the forces. Right, right, yeah. And some went, were rejected in the forces of men. So, the, so there was a bus going mornings, morning yeah. shifts, afternoon and night shifts. We used to leave here at six o'clock in the evening yeah. and come home at about half past eight the following morning. Do a long day then? It was a long night. And we'd go into work, uh, settle, know what we were going to do, the sirens would go. Yeah. And uh, we don't have to go to the air chair. We'd yeah. lying on stone, when the rain was good as I am, lying on stone floors till about two o'clock in the morning. Uh, uh. And then we'd hear this bang and we'd be shouting, Who's oh, wrong? And somebody said, no, it's a door. <laughs> we were <laughs> home. <laughs> you know, you never know it was very um, edgy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But got through it. Got through it all. I tell you another occasion about that. We were working in these shops one day, and somebody said, look out to the window, and there were two men in long black coats, and they had a man in between them. He was spying for the uh, German Irishman, he was. And they caught him? And they caught him. And they took him, we'd never get him, he yeah. him after. But they never bombed the arsenal, did they? they couldn't, no, they couldn't there find was, it. There was a lot of it. Or was it apparently, there was a mist over it. Always, yeah. it's, it's the same in Bridgend now. Is it really? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh yeah, they never bombed it. Yeah, you could be travelling on the motorway and once you come in around the Bridgend area, it would be misty there then, eh? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah. What about the village hall down down in Tilat? Oh, penny dance, a penny concert, yeah. and dances, lovely. There used to, the Bryn village, and some of the men, or they were called Mick and Mike, yeah. and they'd like a really good Pepsi and they yeah. used to put concerts on. Yeah. Oh, it was hilarious. Yeah. So we, we were queuing. Penny cross queuing. Yeah. And people would be queuing to go in to see them. All, on, all from Bryn then? All from Bryn. Do, do. Oh, it was hilarious. Yeah. Well, there was no entertainment. Yeah. No, no, yeah. No, 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 the radio is now. Yeah, wireless, yeah. Wireless, yeah, wireless, yeah, 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 yeah. But, uh, oh, they, it was funny, really yeah. funny. Uh -huh. And they they were a, a group in this village, and the men they yeah. were really comic. Do you remember the names of any of them? Uh, Louis Daniel. I know my father was friendly with Louis Daniel. Well, he really. Yeah. And then um, I don't know his proper name, but they used to call him Spudrenners. 
I said, what's this? Yeah, yeah. What? You know, a, a hedge leads home mess. I can't remember yeah, that. Yeah, I don't know, but yeah. all the... Oh. Characters. Characters. Really. Yeah. I mean, a penny was to pay to go in, yeah. but uh, you'll kill me yeah. to get in there. Where did you go to school then? To Bryn? Bryn School, yes. No, I didn't go to second yeah. country then. They, but Bryn School. You then. stayed in Bryn School then until yeah, you were 14? I was 14. Yeah. Then, when I left school, I used to clean for my grandmother. And I used to have a shingle in a week. I, to, right. I should keep me waiting. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And where was she living then? In Bing Industries, right. in the centre, in the middle of Lock and yeah. 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 My grandmother, Miles, she had a, already a, like a maid of the cup. Yeah, yeah. And, um, and she she was living in the villas then, was she? They were living in, living in the villas. They went further. Further straight. Mm -hmm. And who built the villas, do you know? I am going to tell oh, right. you there when I was a child. Yeah, and, uh, yeah. And your grandmother, Miles, her husband, he was he the colliery manager here? He was here? the colliery manager then. In Bryn? In Bryn. And he died... At the age of 32, I got, no, I got this wrong. It was the year 1932, 1933, something like yeah, that. Yeah. But he was 57 when he died. Yeah. Died suddenly. We've been always to go to church then, because yeah. my grandmother liked us to go to church, grandmother was. And I can remember my mother used to take us up to uh, Glenebo, yeah. that's the name of the house then, yeah. on a um, Sunday evening. Yeah. And I can remember my grandfather being sick nil while we were there. Yeah. And my sister now was four years older than me. And I can remember my mother coming out and saying, now take them, but my brother and me take them to go home now, she said, to Baldwin Street. Yeah. Go straight, don't stop. And she gave her the key and locked it her in. My grandfather was dying, that's why she done this. Oh, yeah. He died then in the chair after we left. Yeah, and he was the manager. Did he have a big funeral? Oh, I could honestly say <coughs> the biggest funeral I've ever seen in this village. Never. Because they were coming from all over. Oh, they, they were employing about 600 oh. men, see what they? Oh, good grief. I've never seen anything like it. Yeah, yeah. But, um, and my grandmother was, she had a sister living in Barry. Yeah. And she had a heart complaint, isn't it? So they had taken her there for a week to stay with her sister, my brother, to have a break. Yeah. And my mother and father were back and forth to yeah. her after Dickie Miles, isn't it? That they also had a maid, like for yeah, her, yeah. it was in those days. And uh, they had to go and get my grandmother. Yeah. He died. Because he had died. Yeah. And my two aunties, my father's sisters, were nursing in the Royal Infirmary in Cardiff. Right. Yeah. So they had the doctor and my father went up to get them. I can yeah. always remember yeah. this plain. Yeah. And yeah. I can remember my father lifting me up to see my grandmother in the car. And he had, you know. The stats. Yeah. And I remember doing that, and he was in the coffin. Yeah. I got a photograph of your grandfather, a smart man, wasn't he? He was. Yeah, I yeah. I got a photograph. I remember you giving it to me. Did I? Really? Yeah. Because we, I put a display on the Bryn Colliery, and oh, he right. was a manager there then. Ah, right, that's right, yeah. yeah. And then when he died, see, my father's elder brother, Evelyn, was working in Portugal. Right. So when my, my grandfather died, they came home from Portugal, yeah. and he was the manager after, because he, he was also a minor. Right, right, yeah, yeah. So he had the job of Emily Miles yeah. after my grandfather. And where did he live in the Bryn then? In the villa, yeah. You know, the, that was a and it was called Ebo, and it did belong yes. to the colliery, it Glen Ebo yes. Villas, yes. and it belonged to the colliery, it? Belonged to the colliery, there was two. There are two of them. I know that. Vaughan Jones lived in one and Greg Phillips lives in the other. Ah, well, the under manager lived next to Ah, right, 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 and right. And the colliery house. Yeah, colliery yeah. Lived. Right. So you said he had the biggest funeral you'd ever seen ah. in the Brit. I, we went there. Yeah. Think that you had instructions not to be on the main street. So we were up 
in the corner in the border street and all the and sleeping on the corner. Yeah, yeah. But apparently the I got a picture there of the funeral going down um Farm Hill we call it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And somebody was down the bottom, you know, taking a picture there. Yeah, so I suppose the miners lined the streets then, did they? Oh, the, um, that, you know, new road. Uh, the road, yeah, yeah. That, not this one, that one uh, coming from the vicarage. Yeah, yeah. Very well. Do you remember this road being built? Oh, no. Do you remember the, the, the road from going up to my stake being built? No. I don't remember that. What year was that? I was born in January 22. Uh, 26, 27, I think. Ah, uh, I don't remember yeah. it. Because I got a photograph of Bringerno Street. No cars in it. No. <laughs> uh, and the, the road wasn't tarmac, it was rough. Oh, I remember that. I remember yeah, that. Yeah, rough. yeah. Because we used to play um, with a top. Oh, yeah, yeah, uh, uh, yeah. Uh, could do a play that on the road. Then yeah, the yeah, yeah, really. yeah, 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 yeah. So the Bryn community in your memory was a very vibrant, busy one. Oh, yes. Plenty of... The library, yeah. everything was done. That's where it all centred around. Chapters, yeah. yeah. And I can remember it was Sunday, everything yeah. was in their best. Yeah. Dress, a new dress and all that. Walk in and sing. That's right. Uh, I, 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 I. Yeah. Yeah. I'm lying down, Yeah. Yeah. And did you have a, 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 a picnic afterwards in the uh, tea in the in the chapel? Yeah. Uh. Well, when we were children, we used to go to the church because my grandmother yeah, was yeah. a big church. Yeah, yeah. So uh, we used to go to the church. Well, then when they died, you know, over in Glen yeah, uh, yeah. my mother then took, uh, said we were we good Baptists. Yeah. My mother and her mother were Baptists, yeah, yeah. French Baptists. Yeah. So we used to go there. Yeah. When I was 14 years of age, of course, I landed up in the organ. Uh, yeah. Where were you, were you baptised when you were in, the, uh, so there, in, in Jerusalem itself? In Jerusalem, in the Sifar, yeah, yeah. they take the carpet up and yeah. fix something up, and there was a... Uh, yeah. well, I, th uh, I think it's still there now, isn't it? Is it really? Yeah. I don't think Carl Rosser was allowed to change that. Oh, right. Yeah. And I remember somebody saying that prior, before Jerusalem was built, they baptised them in the river for a twist. Yes, I, I heard that, yes, yeah. but that not, when, not in my day. Yeah, 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 like, yeah. And it, is the gallery still in this? I, I think it might be, yeah. And in the centre was a rose painted, let's like yeah. see. And you know, um, oh, what do they call it now? We used to go up and say our pieces on the Sunday oh. night. What, there was a name on the thing they used to call it. Ad not. Would you go up to say your ad not? No. You were versed, you'd have to learn a verse? You'd have to learn, uh. yes. And I can always remember my mother telling me, I was a little bit nervous uh, yeah. the first time. And she said, keep your eye on the road. Uh, uh. See, and you'd be all right yeah. when I was. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> and in the winter, they used to put the organ up in the set hour in the corner. Yeah, yeah. There was this store there, you see, and yeah. somebody moved it back to yeah. the centre. But I can remember we had a minister, he only wears he was from Guava. Yeah. Lovely chap, he had a little bit of a, something wrong, he was nodding all the time. But when, um, you know, after they were singing, perhaps a hymn, and I was playing, he'd be down with his head in the pulpit. Yeah. Of course he could see me and I could see him uh, and he'd be looking at me and smiling over uh, and I was struggling to walk off <laughs> my music to play. Yeah, yeah. Uh, nice old look, you Because yeah. <coughs> I noticed that in some of the Gaman Vaganis, one of the conductors you had was Harry Jones from my stake. Possibly, I uh, he went to I went to Camden Chapel in my stake. Oh, did you? Really? And my father was a secretary there for over four, oh, over thirty years. Yeah, what denomination? Yeah. And Harry Jones was the Kodur Kami. He would be the one to start us singing ah, there. Right. He was very musical. Yeah. yeah. And nice. he, I remember him saying we had one service after the main service in the night, as people would get up to talk, and he got up one night. 
and he was talking about them having a Gamanva Gani underground where all the miners would uh, oh, yeah uh, and he singing right so you were happy to have lived in Bryn oh yes born and bred yeah 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 my mother and Carla they lived in Eagle Street yeah, my yeah. mother was living in Eagle Street and my father was living in Canard Street right. and they used to go to that Welsh chapel yeah they can't remember the name of it and that's where they met ah right right well So you were grandchildren. Are all Welsh speakers? Um, I got one granddaughter, David's, my eldest, yeah. and uh, they are not Welsh speaking. My yeah. wasn't Welsh speaking, they live in quite church. But those are all... Roger's children are all Welsh speaking. Yeah. And Kenneth, is he still commentating on rugby? Yes, I think he was on on the weekend. Was he? Yeah. News here Saturday. Very well. What about Roger's daughter? Uh, Laurie teaching. Teaching? Where then? Lot of teachers in uh, <laughs> Yeah. In um Pondrawe. Oh right. And Stefan then the other one. Yeah. He's the younger one. He's um managing a place in I think I think it's me. They make uh, they print uh, print for the police. All right. Yeah, yeah. You know, the, uh, a printing the, service. Yeah. So he's the manager there. Right, 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 right. Uh, and Roger taught, and he's retired now. Yeah, he's there. Yeah. He's uh, not long uh, come out of hospital. Yeah. I told you. With yeah. Right, he's fine. He's great. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's amazing what they can do today, isn't oh, it? I should say. Yeah. But he, he, he loved teaching, yeah, you know, yeah. he enjoyed his... Because uh, he ended up as an advisory teacher as well, didn't he? Yeah. yeah. Oh, he's clever then. Well, I don't see it. Uh, yeah, he was. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Did all right. Mm -hmm. Well, well, well. Uh, anything I wish, like, their father would have lived... Yeah. To see what they made of him. Right. He was yeah. very keen on it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That he died or Roger was on his head when yeah. his father died. What was, what, what was the cause of his father? Yeah. Oh, dear me. No chance. Yeah, yeah. Didn't have a chance. And, and when uh, did he work underground as well, did he? Yeah, um, in, the, in the beginning, see, when yeah. he came out to school, but he went to the Steelers room. Oh, right, yeah, yeah. The advisory yeah. staff to yeah. and the Steelers work yeah. now when he retired, see. Well, he didn't retire, but uh, yeah. with his illness. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you brought the two boys up on your own, virtually? Yeah. My father was a lovely, you know, he, he was just trying to guide them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that, you know, behind me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But uh, all the other, uh, I can always remember when Roger was in Dufferin. Yeah. I went to town one day and I met one of the mothers of another pupil, yeah. friend of Roger's, and she said, uh, Roger's not going to Austria with the school then. And I said, oh, I said, it's the first I've heard of it, I said. And uh, my little bad boy was going, so when I came home, I said, why don't you tell me that the school is going to trip the school trip to Austria for the school. Oh, it's all right. Uh, yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, want to. yeah, yeah. I said, would you like to go? And he didn't answer me. I said, you go to school tomorrow morning. Now I said, and you put your name down. Uh, so he went to Austria. He did. But um, I never had any trouble uh, with either of the boys. I was yeah. very fortunate. Yeah. Yeah, I remember Roger, he's a lovely boy in school. Quiet, Quiet. good rugby player? Yes. Rugby. Yeah, rugby oh, man. Oh gosh, many times I had a phone call. Roger's in hospital, he broke his shoulder, or in, he broke the wrist when in the shop. Uh, yeah. <laughs> and I used to, but I couldn't say any of his father was rugby, he used to play rubber rubber. Right, right. So I couldn't yeah. say And it. what was his name then? William John Davis. William John Davis. Right. Because yeah. I remember Roger in school, he was very friendly with a boy from Comarvon, Robert Beresford. 
Pedro's foot. And he never was teaching when he Yes, his mother was yeah. teaching. And his father taught, did he? Robert spent many a night here. Did he? I used to go down to David's. And my sister used to bring me back in the car and she said, oh, you've got company. And then we strange shoes. Uh, yeah. It's a like back door. The yeah. And they had, I had twin beds in the yeah, room. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. I did it as yes, yeah. I would not always come down to breakfast. Yes, yeah. Because Robert's uncle, his white daughter, was the head up here, Anne Marie Bowen. Anne Marie. That's right. Yeah, yeah. I, I didn't know one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Anne Marie. Right, yeah. Yes. And he yeah. Ned was. Um, well, that, he, her father was Enid's brother. Ah, right. Uh, uh. Oh, we used to have a lot of conversations in it. Yeah, yeah. We'd dream another about whatever was going on with the kids. Yeah. And I used to ring uh, Enid and I say, he's saying it tonight. Yeah. That is, I don't right. Oh, yes. She said, yeah. I expected it because yeah. we should have a phone call to come and fetch. Uh, yeah. Robert. Robert. Yeah. Now he's teaching in Swansea, or he was. Is he retired, surely? Oh, he's retired now, oh, yes. Yeah. Yeah. In the Harvard School in Swansea. Ah, right. And David Wynne. David Wynne Jones. David Wynne Jones was a free was from Yeah. Well, and he spent a lot of time here. Yeah. yeah. Didn't he go become a chemist? That's it. That was David Wynne, yeah. yeah. Yeah, I never forget. He was the secretary of the under-15s rugby club. I was in charge of those in Dufferin. Right. Yeah. And fair play, every... every Morning after the game, he'd give me a written report of the game, who did what and whatever. A nice boy. He was a lovely boy. Lovely. I, I haven't yeah, seen him since yeah. he left Duff uh, Duffrey. Yeah. I haven't seen Roger since he's finished in Duffrey. That's right, yeah. Oh, well. And yeah, he's still a modest boy. He doesn't like that photo there at all, does he? Did, did you go to his graduation? Oh, yes. And he that day as well? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, was lovely. You know, yeah, yeah. First graduation ceremony, but I've been to the others. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's just, I enjoyed it. Yeah, yeah. Uh, proud, proud, you proud. Know, Roger, I don't know if he was shy in school. Quiet he, he was. Quiet, was uh, quiet he was, yeah. He wasn't very keen, you know, when they go up. Yeah. Drop it, right? The couple, up, yeah. Up, right, yeah. Yeah. And just back to the couple. Yeah, yeah. But he there to walk, then up there. Yeah, the yeah, yeah. I can see it. Day in, day in. Thank you, yeah, yeah. All right. Well, thank you, Mary. I thoroughly enjoyed it. Uh, have you? Uh, yes, I have. Spoken a lot about Bryn. I haven't bored you. Not at all. Not at all. <laughs> I could tell you another little thing. That reverse famous down the bottom. Yeah. When we were kids. My mother used to say, I think you changed the course a lot. Because yeah, yeah. she used to buy us all kind of tacks yeah, and yeah, the thread and, yeah, and we'd yeah. move in the stones. Uh, but my mother always used to say that you changed the course yeah. a lot. Remember, don't you? Did you used to dam it to make swimming pools? Oh, yes. We had a big one now. There used to be a big one over there somewhere too. But by the library, by, me, yeah, by my house by there? House. Uh, uh, uh. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. And you knew that there was um, we had fish and chip shops. And oh, there was a, yeah, 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 in Tilat. Yeah, in Tilat. There was a drip, was there? Yeah, yeah. There was two houses, I think, the side where you were. Yeah, yeah. Two houses there. Um, one was a fish and chip shop. Yeah. And the other one was the drip shop. Didn't Mary Williams keep that? No. No? No, she used to live higher up. Mary lived, they used to live up in the, bunk, uh, the, in the cottages, yeah, yeah. Oh, because I thought somebody referred to her husband as Dye Chips. Dye Chips, because his mother kept a ah, fish right. and chip shop when he was a few ah, ah. Ah, right, right, right. Yeah, and that was in the houses opposite, um, I, I can't guess where you live. No, you're not. You lived down. I, I live where the old library was. All ah, right. Well, now then, opposite there, there were two houses. Two houses. Auntie Brony was in one, Margaret Strat yeah. Stratford. And the other one then um, took us 
I say, got a grocery shop. Oh, right, right. So there was another one before. Mrs. Priest. Mrs. Priest, I, I've met, I met. Nancy? Uh, Susie? Susie. Mm. Susie. Big yeah, Susie's daughter taught, I remember her, in different, she was deputy head girl. Where's she? Catherine Davis. Uh, Davis they were. The, Davis she was then. Yeah. And Catherine's retired from teaching now. She ended up as a head teacher. Did over she? primary school, yeah. yeah. Yes. Two, yeah. two girls and a boy, all well speaking. Nice. Oh, Susie was. Yeah. Where's she? Oh, Funnily enough, a few years ago, many years ago, we were we we'd been living in Bryn, and she came up one morning. She was outside the house one morning with three of her grandchildren, and she said, "I'm bringing them up to Bryn to show where their grandmother was would live." And then they came into the garden. They saw the river. Now we used to swim in that because you used to make a big pond there, didn't you? Uh, yeah. Susie, please. Now, sh her mother lived into a, a good age, Nancy, didn't she? Yes. She lived to be a hundred, didn't she? she I, I don't know that she did. Well, the last time I spoke to her, she was mid nineties. Yeah. She yeah. lived on to be a hundred. I think she did. I think she did. And so it's Nancy, Susie, and Meyer. Yeah. And Molly Lewin, the one boy. The boy, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Please, yes, I remember. Yes, yeah. they had a shop, she had a grocery shop, yeah. and the other side then was the Bar. Yeah. Sweet shop and Bar. Yeah. Yeah. Were there lots of shops in Bryn then? No. There was, this house used to be the post office. Right. This room was the, I remember coming in this room and I was a yeah, child. Yeah. Come to that. And Mrs. Lacker used to keep it. It was terrified of her. Uh, uh, oh, God. She uh, couldn't see so many terrified. It wasn't the best thing they'd be living in, yeah. yeah. Anyway, and then there was the cooperative was there. Yeah, there. Yeah. It used to be down the old cop. I know, yeah. It was the, there yeah. when I remember it. Yeah. And then there was to be a sweet shop next door to it. Yeah. Mrs. Walters. Lower down then was Edwin, the newspaper, right. used to sell newspapers, and another switch shop then, Piach and Walters, yeah. and she used to keep a switch shop there. Right. And then there was Martyrs. Martyrs. Yeah. Right. Even there, when there, yeah. there was a good grocery shop, and then straight over then was Martyrs, the switch shop. Right. Because my mother was in her 80s. She couldn't live on her own anymore, so she lived in a home in Patalwood. Yeah. And one of the Martells was in the home with her. Did she? Mm. What was his name? Um, he, he never got married. He was no, a... Um, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, he died there. He had, um, he stopped. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, aggressive, you know. Yeah. Yeah, I think he choked on a chip. Did he? Yeah, yeah. I know, when there was, you know, he couldn't have the he was yeah, yeah. And he caught his mother in between the door, you know. Yeah. He was pushing the door and his mother was, oh, she had a terrible out to him. And yeah. It was hard going with him. Now, yeah, yeah. But he couldn't have it with him. No, no, put up. No. Yeah. Oh, I hope we've recorded all this now. Oh, is it going to, is it, don't tell me it's all on there. Yeah. Oh, yes, it's good. Yeah, it's good. It's good. It's good. It's good. It's good. No, it's been Absolutely interesting. Right. Orchids, I like orchids. Oh, I like orchids, yeah. Yeah, you can take that plastic thing off now. Uh, I shall take it off, John. Yeah. Oh, you've got some lovely flowers here. Uh. Uh, that's of David there. Uh. Yeah. Oh, I, oh, I can't remember. Yeah. You know, people are kind, like, you know. Well, they all look after you, don't they? They were coming to the door, and I, I, some of them I didn't know. Yeah. Oh, somebody brought something now. Yeah, Val. Val, she lives down there. Yeah, yeah, Val. I don't, Val I don't go out to see yeah, them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. But I remember you, years ago. Telling me a story about you in Tesco's in Port Albert. A woman was struggling to get some tins off the shelf and she couldn't manage. So you went there and got it for her. Do you remember? 
And she said, oh, thank you, love, I'm 74, see? And you said, well, I'm 85, I'm 75, I'm 95. Eh? That's typical you. Uh, I'll never forget, that's typical yes, Bryn. I remember that well. Um, yeah, yeah. See? Really, your memory's as sharp as ever. As old boy turned me and remembering too much. <laughs> 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 yeah. uh, Didn't you and David go to hospital as a young boy? Yeah, I was in Hammersmith in London. Right, you had a heart complaint. Born with a hole in his heart. Right. And uh, 14 he was. Yeah. When um, we had to take him, we, used to, we were under a consultant down here, but we had to take him then to a Hammersmith. Yeah, yeah. And he had an operation there. Yeah. So his father stayed with me for a week. He yeah. couldn't stay longer because yeah. he had to go back to work, isn't it? He was on the staff in the steel work, so he had to come back. So I had to stay up there. I didn't like it, mind. He yeah. was home in London, but uh, you yeah. know, it's only from where I was staying to the hospital yeah. and back. Yeah. I never went to because Hammersmith Hospital is right next to uh, Wembley Square Street. Right, right, right. <laughs> well, we, your connection is there then. <laughs> when we used to go and visit, uh, David was in the right up yeah. and I was just looked down. You could see down where they were on the Walking parade. around parade, yeah. Yeah, yeah, like yeah, yeah. I was fascinated. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But you were relative had done it. <laughs> He'd been there. My, uh, my um, mother's brother there. Uh, uh, she was in when we were conscientious uh, That's right. Yeah. Oh God, I could, I could tell us what's going on. I don't know. Yeah. Right. That, that's it now. Oh no, I can thank you. And uh, those flowers should last you a while. Oh, what a lovely. This is David Bowen talking to Mary Miles. On the occasion, after her 100th birthday, on the 26th of June, 2021. 27th.